Let's take a look at the C4 cycle. Imagine a cactus and a sunflower hanging out in the desert. It's a hot, dry day without a cloud in sight. The sunflower is shriveling. It cannot survive in the desert environment because it is a C3 plant. In order to produce glucose and energy, plants rely on carbon fixation to create organic carbon as an input for their Calvin cycle. C3 plants use rubisco to create organic carbon. However, in low CO2, high O2 conditions, rubisco affinity for oxygen fixation causes C3 plants to conduct a detrimental process called photorespiration. This results in organic carbon and energy being lost. How on earth does this guy survive here? The cactus is a C4 plant. Let's take a look at how the C4 cycle enables the cactus to survive in desert conditions. To begin, let's look inside the chloroplast of a C4 plant, specifically the mesophyll cell. First CO2 enters the cell. C4 plants use an alternate enzyme, PEP carboxylase, to fix incoming carbon dioxide. PEP carboxylase has no photorespiration activity and has a higher affinity for CO2 than rubisco. After carbon fixation, an intermediate compound called oxalatate is turned into a four carbon compound called malate. Malate is then released from the mesophyll cells and sent to the bundle sheath cells. Once malate enters the bundle sheath, it is broken down into CO2 and pyruvate. The CO2 enters the Calvin cycle, while the pyruvate returns to the mesophyll cells, where itself and a phosphate from ATP is used to regenerate PEP carboxylase. Here is an overview of the C4 process. I am able to live in the hot and dry areas because I don't lose energy and carbon to photorespiration and I can carry out photosynthesis while my stomata are partly closed. You may have some advantages, but you're forgetting about your numerous disadvantages. While you are more efficient at utilizing lower levels of water, the C4 process is very inefficient in its use of incoming sunlight. Also, you require more ATP to fix carbon which just increases your reliance on high levels of sunlight. You may have the advantage out here in the desert, but I have the advantage in cooler and wetter climates. Here in the rainforest, I'm able to conduct photosynthesis more efficiently and can survive in conditions where there's low amounts of sunlight. I am unable to follow you into the wetter climate because I'm far too inefficient to survive without large amounts of sunlight. It would appear that we must go our separate ways in search of what's best for both of us. I'm going to miss you. You are a good friend.